how we split up. It had nothing to do with infidelity or nothing like that. But I knew I would never get married again. Once I stepped away from that, I was like, that construct is is not designed for me. Yeah. And, and so as much I gave it my all. And then, because even before that, I was like, I don't believe in marriage, but shit, it was Mariah Carey. Ladies, it's time for us to have a conversation, honey. Yes, girl. So Nick Cannon, now you know he's a good one, right? He's coming out and he's saying he doesn't believe in marriage. Yes, girl. I don't know what Mariah Carey did, but he said it wasn't even Mariah Carey's fault. He said before he got with Mariah Carey, he never believed in marriage and he just never want to get married. So he's interviewing T.I., honey, okay? Girl, the conversation they was having, okay? But before I go on, I'm going to need you guys to do me a favor. Make sure you like this video, share this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Gossip Girl, XOXO. You know you love me, and I love you guys too. I'm your host, Miss Shiji. Welcome, Gossip Community. So, Nick Cannon, he's, he's being interviewed by T.I. You know T.I. is, right? tiny husband you know the one the man the rapper you can have whatever you like you know i can't sing but you know anyway so nick Cannon's like you know he just never believed in marriage and i just think that's so big of him to be so open and honest ti was trying to convince him like are you sure you know what you're saying you know he said well what about a threesome relationship pretty much where Nick Cannon I guess can have two women or Nick Cannon can have a man and a woman I don't know you know but Nick Cannon said nope he said he don't want anything with restrictions with rules he doesn't want to be responsible for somebody else's happiness you know and I just think that's very brave for him to draw off the lines because you know we are so raised to live in these boxes and to color within the lines and to just keep that mentality and everybody want to get married and everybody want to have this same type of lifestyle when it's so far from the truth you know most people say they want it but you can tell by their actions they don't want it okay and they don't need it all right so you know you have to have passion you have to want this in order to work both parties have to want it it can't just be something you just want for the moment to please your family or something you just want because you think that's what you're supposed to do you have to want it within yourself right so ti's like you know you need to think about it. So Nick Cannon was like, well, you know, your situation is different. You got a good woman. You got a whole family. Basically, he was trying to say was, Tiny, she don't bitch and complain when you out there cheating and thotting around, okay? Now, Nick Cannon said he do want to have more kids. And T.I. said, Nick Cannon said, you know, he got kids by different baby mamas. And I guess that's the kind of hassle. But guess what, bitch? I didn't realize it, but T.I. say he got kids by different baby mamas, too. I said, ooh, I ain't know that, y'all. I ain't know that. I ain't know that. I ain't know that. But um, it seemed like Tip, when uh, T.I. was asking Nick Hannah about the threesome relationship, it just seemed like T.I. was really into it, like that's what he want. But most likely, he already got it. Okay, Tiny know about it because you already know. Oh, you ain't heard. Hmm. Party crashes, gossip community. Y'all better let her know. You ain't heard. Oh, girl, back in the day, they said Tiny and T.I., they been doing threesomes. Yeah, girl, even orgies. Ain't nothing wrong with it. I ain't judging. Hold on, let me say it with a smile. Orgies. They was doing orgies and threesomes, and they was just having a ball, okay? <laughs> Listen, I got to watch my face because I don't want to come off as I'm judging anybody because I'm not. I'm just a nice person that loves the gossip. So anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on. I'm going to play the audio so you guys can hear for yourself. Don't take my word for it. And um, how do you feel about it? You know, if more men was honest and said, listen, marriage is not for me versus being pressured into getting married and doing wrong and cheating and 
just all the extra headache. I'm sure people will pretty much want the truth and just don't don't put nobody to that bullshit, you know. But good for you, um, Nick Cannon. He said he would not be responsible for somebody else's happiness. And maybe it's so many people nowadays are getting in these relationships and they're not happy within themselves and they're looking for their mate to make them happy. And he noticed that and he just don't want no parts, you know. So maybe we need to, you know, find some more love within ourselves before we go out looking for love. Listen. Let's play this audio. Make sure you guys subscribe, and I will see you guys sooner than later. Bye. I did it in marriage. I was very so, I was faithful in my marriage, but I, I so you was it. faithful in your marriage. Absolutely, the whole time I was married. Mm. But I knew, like you know, and, I, and the reason why we split up, it had nothing to do with infidelity or nothing like that. But I knew I would never get married again. Once I stepped away from that, I was like, that construct is is not designed for me. Yeah. And, and so. As much I gave it my all, and then because even before that, I was like, I don't believe in marriage, but shit, it was Mariah Carey, whatever she say, I'm with it. <laughs> <laughs> like, like if she wanted to say we was well, going to the moon, I'm yeah, like, let's go. Well, you married well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You married. If I'm gonna marry well. somebody, I'm gonna marry her. And it don't look like you look back since. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. So, but I just know, like, even in that thing, like, I know I'll never be in a relationship again, and like, I know I'll never get married again. So I'm like, I'm trying to so figure that out. So what about like the like the 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 poly lifestyle even like i respect uh, a polyamorous situation yeah. but me I, I did it in a marriage i was very so, I was faithful personally that's too much of a con construct with too many rules in it like i don't want to answer rules? to nobody what i don't rules? want i don't what want five or six that i, I don't want no, i want to be by my goddamn self like and like okay, you want to be by yourself yes right. forever you sure? I mean, I got lonesome tattooed on my neck. I'm good. Are you <laughs> sure? I don't, see, Nick, but I don't have what, say right now. Nick. See, I don't have what you have. You got a, a beautiful situation. You got a queen that y'all go through situations. it and, and rock children. Like I got kids. I got kids by you know different women. So, so do I. <laughs> right? But it's like I feel, like, and I want more kids, but. Oh, believe me, you keep it up, you're going to have it. <laughs> you believe me? You keep it up I'm at the rate you're going, you have no problem. I'm trying to figure this shit You'll out. You'll be too. caught up, man. You'll be caught up in no time. Like, I mean, what is it that you're trying to figure out exactly? Because I don't want, I don't want to be responsible for nobody else's happiness. Like, I'm still trying to figure out my shit. I'm still trying to, personally, that's too much of a con construct with too many rules in it.